picture right now. They do get used to us, sorry. Uh, if you've ever seen, we have a show on Animal Planet called Gator Boy. This is the show, Gators are spinning, jumping, trying to kill us. Those are Gators that have never seen us before. They don't know what, what a nice guy I am. Doug has apparently figured that out. Right, Doug legitimately weighs over two times what he weighed when I caught him. He was the skinniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. So uh, I'm, I'm always, uh, always feels good when you get somebody back like that. Because we think he was going to make it. so scrawny. He's what we call a murk gator. A lot of the gators out there, that's water out there is full of mercury sulfide. A lot of the gators out there are very, very thin. I just caught a 10-foot, 10 10-inch 10 gator off the, the back uh, boat ramp down here. And uh, he weighs about as much as Doug does now. He should weigh about 250 pounds more than he does. But uh, we're fattening him up, too. He's over at my buddy's house. All right, now, if you're a seminal warrior, you caught yourself an alligator. Uh, first thing you want to do is tie the jaws shut so you can tie those legs up, get them to get back to camp. But if you're by yourself, tying the jaws is kind of tricky. You do need two hands to tie a good knot. Something has to hold the mouth closed while you're doing it. You risk losing your fingers in the process. So the Seminoles came up with a technique that we now refer to as bulldogging. Holding the jaws closed with your chin and your chest. Now we free your hands up and give you time to take out a leather or rope and tie a knot. If you want to get a picture, wait till both arms go off to the side, or you see the blood pouring down my throat. <laughs> it's usually where I tell the kids to stay in school.